What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am in beautiful Miami, Florida. Look at this beautiful ocean that we are at today. Now I have been inspired by this to do another catch and cook series on snapper. Now I want a nice snapper dinner. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try and catch a mangrove snapper, go back to the house, cook it up for the first time and try it. Oh, that's a keeper. Woo. We're eating good tonight, boys. Here we go, guys. This is a keeper snapper. We're going to go home, cook them up. This should be very, very delicious dinner. The, the rules are 10 inches or bigger, and it is 10 per person. So this is within regulation. We're going to throw them in the cooler and get back. All right, guys, we're back here at the house now. We're going to fillet this beautiful snapper that we caught. Uh, just to remind all of you guys, this is in regulation size. It is 10 inches, and it is 10 per person. And obviously, I only took one. So we are good to go. Let's get started. Cut this guy, skin him, get back to the house and cook them. Guys, we are back in the kitchen now. Here are the snapper fillets. I am pretty excited because I am hungry and I want a snapper lunch. So we're gonna go ahead and prepare these fillets. Now I know what you guys are thinking and what you guys will probably let me know in the comments is that this is not the correct way to cook snapper. A lot of you guys might cook it whole on the grill, whatever, but this is how we're doing it. It's easiest for me to film it this way. So. We're gonna go ahead and prepare it like this. We're gonna bread them up, we're gonna fry them up, and I'm gonna try them for the first time on camera. So let's go ahead and get it done. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to quickly dunk these fillets in some egg yolk just to make the batter stick to them. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the pan. Now that these things are completely soaked in egg, we're going to throw them in our batter. Shake them up, get them perfectly covered, and preparation is done. Number one in there, and number two. Close the bag, and get to shake. So, they have been covered enough. They look really, really good. I'm going to take them out, lay them down. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. 
gosh, it's perfect. Perfect breaded fillets. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go get our patent pending hot ass pan and get these on there and cook them. All right, pan is nice and hot. Fish are ready to go in. Here we go. I love that initial, that initial sound. So perfect. Perfect. So now we're going to let these cook for eight to 10 minutes, five minutes on each side, maybe a little less. And they should be perfect, you guys. So you guys know I love to give you guys as much details as possible because you're not here with me. So I like to give you smell, taste, look, everything like that. So right off the bat, for these just being on the pan for maybe I'd say a minute now, the smell is very, very delightful. I mean, it doesn't smell too strong, not fishy at all. Uh, the breading smells nice. The fish gives a nice aroma as it's cooking. So the smell test, um, I give it an A plus for now. It does smell very, very nice while it's cooking on the pan. All right, these things look just about ready to flip. They've been on one side for about three or four minutes now. Go ahead and flip these. All right, looks like these are ready to be taken out of the pan. They are perfectly fried. Get them right on here. Oh my god, they're just they're tearing apart. The meat is so tender and flaky. It's just literally tearing. I can't even lift it up with the fork because it'll just tear easily. Last piece and done. Here they are. Here are the mangrove snapper fillets fried up. They look beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead to the table, show you the break test, the meat inside. I'm going to taste them for the first time and give you my honest opinion on how they taste. I'm pretty sure they're going to taste good, you guys. So let's get to it. Guys, here we are back at the table yet again with another taste test. Today, as you guys know, we are trying the mango snapper. Now, it looks visually beautiful. It smells amazing. Now, we're going to do a little rip test to show you guys the meat inside, and then we're going to do a taste test. Okay, so now here is one of the fillets. Uh, up close, I'm just going to go ahead and tear it and see how the meat looks inside. Show you guys that really quick. Oh my gosh, look at that. The meat is perfect. It looks, again, like chicken. Flaky, white, not veiny at all, no discoloration in the meat. Very, very, very beautiful meat inside. So, flaky, white meat. Look-wise, I give it an A plus as well. So, let's go ahead and try this thing. I'm... I'm not doubting that this thing tastes good. Everyone says snapper is great. Everyone loves snapper. Um, here we go. Mangrove snapper taste test. Three, two, one. Oh my God. It's so good. You guys, that is so good. Everything that anyone has ever told me about snapper, I now know what you're talking about. The consistency of this meat, the texture, the breading, everything about this is so good. The taste, the color, the, the smell, everything is just immaculate. I now know what all the hype is about Snapper. Thank you to the people who suggested it down in the comments below. I really, really enjoyed making this. I'm definitely enjoying eating this. Final thoughts on Mangrove Snapper. One of the best fish I would possibly eat in the ocean, hands down. A plus, 10 out of 10, so, so good. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it. If you guys have a chance to try it, you better go and try it. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Catch and Cook. Now remember you guys, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know another species that you guys want to see me cook and try for the first time. I read all your guys' comments and I take the next Catch and Cook video from the comments below. So. Make sure you comment below what you want to see. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me guys know that you like the content that I create for 
you. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.